Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with the Kirovets. But I have a bit different idea how to play with this vehicle and how to make it work uh, and how to describe this tank. First of all, let's, uh, let's start with uh, describing the vehicle, let's talk uh, about the armor of this tank and so on, so on. What, what is this tank to begin with? So this tank is a double penetrator tank ordered from AliExpress. This is what you expected to get for yourself, uh, speaking, uh, speaking about the tanks, right? This is what you expected to get and this is what you received. Uh, the platform of this vehicle is pretty much identical, right? Uh, obviously with a minor differences in the turret because the turret of this vehicle is a bit different. But looking into all of this, tank shape, tank form, everything is looking pretty much the same, well, minus the turret, right? And you expected to get at least a double penetrator gun with it, but the game said no, 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 absolutely not. You are going to get the almighty IS-5 gun. <laughs> so yeah, you you thought you are going to get a proper vehicle, but you got some kind of um, Frankenstein, right? As you can see, this is IS-5 gun, and oh boy, oh boy, this gun can be a pain in uh, your buttocks, to say that the least, right? Now, just to prove my point and to show the things properly here, if you would pay attention at the, mm, at the tanks GG, you can notice that uh, this is Kirovets one. The lower plate armor is roughly 190 millimeters, right? the upper plate is roughly 250 millimeters, somewhere thicker, somewhere thinner, and the turret armor is pretty much in, in some places 280 and uh, so on. Now, what is happening if you are loading gold? Well, uh, this tank is kind of becoming green and you can penetrate it even in the turret in certain places. And overall, you know, speaking about the side scrapping abilities, you kind of can do that until someone will load their gold. But uh, then, you know, you are going to get penetrated into the turret either way, even if the person... Um, even if the person is uh, side scrapping properly, but if he is willing to load the gold, there is places where you can get penetrated, right? So this is important thing to say. Now looking into the double penetration, the same situation. Armor is going up to 200 or 190, whatever, depends on the slight angles. And the uh, upper plate is like 250 roughly, right? Same situation, you are side scrapping, you can get penetrated as well. You know, nothing, nothing unusual. Um, the tank is pretty much looking identical. Identical. That's why I am showing this and that's why I am highlighting this, right? So now, when we have this out of the way, uh, I think the best thing about Kirovets is armor. And that's it. This is where all good features are ending and there is absolutely nothing to say about this. It's just GG, you know, this is all this tank has to offer. Now hear me out. My idea about today's session is going to be like this. We are going to show one epic game when the tank is behaving extremely, extremely well. And after that, we are going to play two uh, games when the things are, uh, well, it's going to be live battles, right? Uh, so I will play and comment and everything. And first of all, we will check the best game of Kirovets which we ever had. And you will see how expectations are looking versus reality, if you know what I mean. So hopefully this is going to be entertaining, fellas. So without further ado, let's teleport straight into the action, shall we? And fellas... This is the game I was talking about. It's about the time to flex on the tier 6 vehicles. Skill how brave from your side. Skill you are absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for your hard work. No problem fellas, it is my pleasure. Listen, this is the best game which I had with Akirovets when I was grinding the field modifications and when I tested this vehicle out overall. Um, it is far away from being ideal tank, and I said that many, many times uh, straight, right? Um, I don't really think anyone should consider buying this tank because double penetrator is just uh, better in every possible shape or form, but sometimes even bad tanks can shine. And this is the moment where this vehicle will shine. 
So looking into this matchmaking, I thought, okay, going into the heavy line might be a waste of time just because uh, uh, we are playing against the lower tiers, right? So I simply made the decision to uh, go for uh, middle because we are going to access the meat instantly and hopefully we will be able to do a bad things for the enemy forces, right? That was my full idea and that's what I was aiming for and this is looking pretty great. Um, speaking about the armor of this tank, side scrapping can work, obviously you can get penetrated into the lower plate, so you cannot expect you are the most powerful uh, tank in the field, right? And once again, it's the same double penetrator, just without uh, accurate gun and with, uh, <laughs> without double penetration, that's about it. Meanwhile, we are spanking the Vaza for a third time already, we are packing the 2000 damage score, which I am super happy about. And I am thinking maybe we can eliminate this guy from the game and looks like was a one, uh, 441 he just gave up. He said um, bad map, bad team, bad tank and everything was bad. Unfortunate but he happens for the best of us, right? Sometimes we have a situations when we just cannot perform as good as we would love to. Now SMV is quite a dangerous vehicle fellas, I really want to highlight this. It is not so easy to penetrate that tank especially if you are not shooting gold although we are going to sell so this problem with the relative ease very very soon but at this point I am very into the guard I really want to make sure this guard is going to go back to the garage it is very very important thing to say and as you can see guard is down to the nine hit points so what that basically means speaking about the nine HP uh, whenever you are seeing the guy who is side scrapping somewhere right and he has uh, hit points down to singular or double digits what you can do you can always try to uh, shoot high explosives right you can always try to do that and you can eliminate the guys in this way as you can see I just loaded high explosives I am waiting until he will side scrap and we are sending him back to the garage absolutely amazing now how to deal with SMV, with SMV obviously we need to think about the heat ammunition because otherwise we are not going to penetrate him unfortunately, but it is the case, right? Sometimes we do not really have a choice. I was thinking maybe light tank will cross through the open field, but unfortunately um, it doesn't work this way, right? And the score is already okay, believe me or not. Um, Whenever I am playing with the tanks which are not the finest ones, uh, my expectations for vehicle is far away uh, from being um, high. As an example, if I would play with Rene in this kind of situation, I would say, okay, this is a start, uh, hip hip hooray. With this tank I have 2.6 thousand and I'm thinking, whoa, what a great game with the Kirovets. Absolutely beautiful, amazing, very, very nice. And once again, in this situation, you see, we loaded, uh, we loaded simply high explosive ammunition and it works just fine. What high explosive? Heat, sorry, my bad, my brain just farted. Heat ammunition straight in the face of the SMV and we are penetrating this. Now this is the moment of a good decision. Thinking about this, fellas, if I will sit in this position, all of those guys can go on me and I do not really have any support whatsoever. This is very important thing to highlight, right? You just have it go. So what kind of options I have? Stay here and get uh, banged by the enemies, escape down and have support from the enemy team or go and do an expected thing like a Superman would, um, try to teleport up the wall. How about that? So what I am thinking, I am thinking, okay, I can eliminate those tier sixes without bigger problems whatsoever, but I need to start escaping, right? I am running for my, for my life like there is no tomorrow and luckily we escaped in time. Meanwhile, we spank at this tier six, which is a very, very good thing. And at the same time, look at the timing. If I would still be low, uh, the Skoda would eliminate me from the game. And in this kind of situation, we blown his mind. I was practicing for this one. I hope you appreciated uh, this joke, fellas. I hope so. Meanwhile, obviously we are showing the dominance against the tier 6 or tier 7 tanks, right? This is what this vehicle is capable of doing to show how strong he is against the lower tiers. Whew. Quite a spirit, quite a power. Pay attention at LT432 running away, right? Pay attention. Uh, he is trying to relocate for obvious reasons and this is going to be important in a moment. 
But for now, we are making sure we are going to eliminate SMV from the game or this VK from the game. Doesn't really matter, right? We just want to eliminate the guns. That's the most important thing. And now, at this point, looking into the maxi map and doing the predictions and everything, we made a decision uh, or we made an um, estimate the LT432 is going to be here. What a good prediction, fellas. Don't you think so? So. We are going to say hello for him. Skill, you are down to two shotable. I don't really care too much about this. He's playing with the light tank so we can go him and we can try to ram him, right? And this is exactly what we are looking for. I really want to finish him off from the game, but I see SMV going from the side and I thought maybe I can ram him to death, but I made a decision to shoot for him. And in this kind of situation, we are just simply going to say hello for SMV and oh boy, oh boy, you wish you would have a turret, don't you? You wish you would have a turret. And now the last remaining tank, Super Hellcat. And with the Super Hellcat, I thought, okay, where this guy is sitting? Maybe he's going to be in the middle. Maybe he is going to do something, um, something there. And you know what? I changed my mind in the middle. Uh, the main reason why I changed my mind because I tried to predict once again. I think he's going to flank me, and I think he's going to go for my booty. And you know what? What the predictions in this game? What a predictions, fellas. Even a broken watch can show the time couple of times died during 24 hours, right? And that was the thing. All stars we are aligned, enemies we are bottom tier. We were fighting against the tier sixes, so I'm a top dog in the field. Even though it's not, I do not have the best gun. I was in front of the enemies, and uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. Let's see the score, shall we? And fellas, check out the score. One of those games when even a bad tank can work. So look at this. We have Ace, we have a uh, Top Gun, Steel Wall, uh, High Caliber, Rigged, Brother in Arms, which is a very important thing to mention. In the end of the day, we got 1.9 base experience, which is crazy. 6.1 thousand damage and 205 thousand damage credits profits absolutely gorgeous game fellas but once again please remember this thing even a broken watch is showing time twice right a day it's time um for some reality check what do you think so two live games without being selective we will see what we will craft let's go okay fellas let's see how reality will treat uh, Kirovets. i do not have that much hopes to be completely honest with you but let's see maybe i am wrong and maybe we are going to have the best time of our lives we have done the intro in the first game yesterday then i needed to start the stream night and now it is the other day and we are going for a live games let's see how the things will look like, huh? Mr. Kirovets, show us something nice, please. Or actually, no. No, 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 no. Mr. Kirovets, treat us as you usually do. That would be more fair. Uh, looking into matchmaking, everything is looking pretty good here. We are fighting against the tier 7s. We do not really have uh, um, any art in the game. So I would say we are sitting very, very, very well. Now the question is what we could punish here. Mm -hmm. I like this angle. Now we need to load the hits. There is no way I can penetrate this tank otherwise. Beautiful. And now let the journey begin. If he is going to shoot the gold, he is going to penetrate me without bigger problems whatsoever. So I need to keep this in mind. Was I easy to meet? If we are going to be able to hit the shot. If only we will be able to hit the shot, he's going to be easy meet. Okay, as you can see, he's shooting hits. This is the correct decision. Whenever two tanks are meeting each other, both of them are sitting hold down. I mean, you do not really have any other uh, option, do you? At least I do not really think you do. Okay, he has double um, gun, so pretty much what that means, his upgraded version of mine, right? Not much what I can change about this. Unfortunate. So as you can see, he can easily penetrate me into the turret, I would guess. That was penetration into the turret, and that is completely fine. I cannot cry about that.
Probably both of us have equal abilities to, to play here. As you can see, he's penetrating me into the turret and I can penetrate him into the turret. There is nothing what I can change about this. It is not a wise trade to fight against the devil penetrator in this situation. Well, I knew that beforehand, but oh well, I still thought, yep, let's risk it for the biscuit. Listen, in this situation, we will try to spot him for our dead feather. Maybe our dead feather can punish this guy or something, but uh, looking into the gun of the feather, unfortunately, he has a stock gun, right? So it's going to be very hard for him to do something. Hmm. Hard, hard, hard start. Ooh, hi. One more thing to say and to highlight. Currently, we are using uh, mode of the reticle, right? Um, I know I am reminding this in pretty much every single video, but I truly need to do that because some people might think skill. Uh, my reticle is looking. Wait, no. My reticle is looking significantly bigger than yours, right? So I need to highlight this. If you are curious about the reticle mod, I would highly recommend to check out uh, um, description down below and you are going to find everything. This is this is the true play of the Kirovets, right? Uh, definitely not the most enjoyable experience. Um, it's just, it's just not, right? But I really want to share that with you. I want to show you uh, the 2 to 15 simulator. I want to show you how the gun is missing. So in a way, you are not going to be tricked to buy this tank alone and after that regret your life choices. <clears throat> I think this is the correct decision, I would say. Hey! Look at this beauty, fellas. We actually hit him. Impressive. Very, very impressive. No, can we hit him once again for the sake of love? Please? Okay, at this point we're waiting until Swiper will try to cross. And eventually he will. It's a matter of the time. He will get bored of sitting there and he will say... Prrr! At least this is what I am waiting for and hoping for in the same time. Come on, Swiper. Just go. We believe in you all. Oh. We just need to be 100% patient. That's all we need to do. Oh, high roll. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Very, very good. Now in this situation, yeah, I don't, I do not really want to go here, and the main reason why I do not want to go here is, uh, it's just simply not worth it, right? What's from that? I will play hold down in this area, and in the same time, the double penetrator can penetrate me in the face. Not what I am looking for. In the same time, now we are going to proxy spot each other. The double penetrator will spot me and I will spot him. Doesn't really matter, we are feeling pretty damn fine. It is okay. Now what I would love to see, I would love to see him over peeking like this, right? He, he thinks he can spank the living crap out of me. Then he is going here in the open field and Gusor is clipping him out. That's what I am hoping for. Well... But, you know, uh, hopes and dreams are kind of far away from reality. Reality can be significantly more complicated. Okay, beautiful. Now we are spotting them. Good. Look, in this situation, we are behaving like uh, spotters, right? We have armor, obviously. But we are behaving like a spotters in a way. We are just making sure we are going to let to know for our team whenever Vaza will make pressure in front or wherever a double penetrator will go get involved, right? Oh, yeah, it's such a such a boring game. I would love to say, oh, yep, 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 high explosive on. Aim, 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 aim. aim. Six hundred. 600 fellas 600 in the face you can say whatever you want that was beautiful skill you did not one shot at him so high explosives was kind of meh yeah i know i haven't one shot at him but still nevertheless that was beautiful 
actually this is one of those games where we can um, have a decent comeback looking into all of this I would say Panther through the middle of the field we are going to say hello for him yeah, that is such a bad decision by this gentleman but he he doesn't need to worry our gun is made in China it's okay he will survive fellas he will survive well at least against us right good very very good minus 570 that was quite unfortunate but it is how it is I didn't really change anything he's dead good we are just holding the living crap out of this game fellas we are just holding okay good 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 excellent now the question is is this panther still sitting somewhere here okay I really want to see is this gentleman trying to spank me through the distance or he just doesn't give a flying F and he is feeling completely fine there is a pixel shot let's go for the best I mean I should be impressed only by hitting this guy right and he is dead wow plus it is going significantly better than I expected oh Kari Kari is still sitting around this area and I would not act surprised if he's waiting until I am going to make a mistake. At least I would not act surprised. I mean, looking into all of this, fellas, uh, this game is not that bad. I was expecting so much worse than this, but in the same time, this is one of those lucky games. I mean, the games are going for a relatively long time, right? What to do next? I can imagine only one case scenario how we can be successful here. And that case scenario is to get rid of the curry. I cannot imagine anything else. I don't really think I can make a hardcore pressure here either. But the thing is, he doesn't sit here. At least it doesn't look like it because I would get spotted more likely, right? Can go for a blind shot for a good measure though. I think he could have went back. And if it is the case, then hip hip hooray. extremely lucky to hit the shot extremely lucky nothing more than that just simply lucky good how we can make pressure for the enemies huh? how we can make pressure at this point I think double penetrator allocated if I need to guess where he is sitting at I would say he went back here That would be my guess. How to approach him being down to one shotable when he has two guns? That's the question. He should be spotted. Look, T25 AT is sitting around this area. At least he should. I am 90% sure about this. I'm trying to figure out what to do here. I am trying to figure out how to win. How to win and how to send the enemies to the garage, but it is significantly more difficult than I than, uh, than I would love to say it is. Yeah, not a big surprise, I told you. This guy is still sitting hold down and Kari is sitting actually over there. Ah yeah 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 yeah, he's right there. He is here. Unfortunate, fellas. Uh, this game had a potential. We were working our ass off for 12 minutes and we got 2.8 thousand damage. Whew. Okay, let's see the score. 
Okay, not the most exciting game to say that the least, right? We have a draw and we did as much as we physically and possibly could in this situation. Well, I could have saved my hit points more against the double penetrator, right? Uh, 2.8 thousand damage, 800 assisting damage. That was quite a game to say that the least. I was feeling like I was a punching ball in this game to say that the least. And gun, well, I do not want to talk about this. Even though uh, we had mech game, we made uh, <clears throat> 17,000 credits. 17,000 credits. Well, to be fair with you, I was shooting quite a bit of the APCRs, uh, or I supposed to say hits, which is gold. So I cannot complain about this, can I? Let's go for seconds. Plus, looking into matchmaking, I feel like my dad is truly working in our gaming. Twice in a row being top tier playing against the tier sevens. Come on. This is this is too obvious, I think. Um but what can I say? I am not complaining. I am feeling very, very great with this and uh, thank you. More games like this, pretty please. Uh too bad. Well, I don't know. Have you noticed how inaccurate the gun is in the previous game? Uh, hopefully this game will treat me badly as well in a way, right? And once again, this video is made for you to figure out what the Flying F Kirovitz is. And obviously Kirovitz is better than, than IS-5, right? But just to show how much you cannot trust this gun. Does it make sense, fellas? Pretty much this video is prevention from people making a mistake and thinking, Oh, double penetrator, but without double penetrator gun? This should be awesome, right? This is the whole point of me uh, playing with this vehicle and showing you this, right? It is, it is pretty much trying to save uh, um, money for you and not to get tricked in getting this vehicle and after that simply regretting your life choices to say that the least. No. Yep. Yep. <coughs> yep. This is what I want to show. Good. Good, very, very good. Tiger is made out of paper, by the way. Uh, if I am going to hit this gentleman, we are going to spank him like there is no tomorrow and we are going to do some damage. Unless, unless we won't. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. The patience levels of this vehicle, you need to be extremely patient. And at the same time, you know, you can be uh, tricked by the armor as well of this vehicle, which is not going to be great, to say that the least. No. I know I could potentially go in front. I, I get the point. I can I could try to go like this, but I'm afraid that Emil will simply clip me out and it is going to be game over. That's what I am afraid of. But you know what? I have a feeling it is about the time to stop being pussy. This is what I feel. Oh. Yep. Penetration. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very, very nice. There is a chance he did not spot at me. Well, now we know the truth. Unfortunately, he did. Do I want to take the lower part there, or do I want to play up? This is the decision which I need to do. Mm, to be completely honest with you, I am chilling in this situation. I don't really care about anything else, making sure to fully aim the shots. Fellas, patience exercises. Deep breathing. Deep breathing, fellas. We got this. Okay, I'm waiting once again until Trash 103 will go sideways, because more likely he will. And if our T29 will get involved, I believe he might regret his life choices uh, dearly. The thing is, there is three guns sitting on this corner, right? If you are over pushing this, you are pretty much dead meat. You are going to get farmed, plus on top of that, Arta will stun him. Hmm, unfortunate. Quite a hard game for this guy, but he was a bit too aggressive in this situation. I do not want to show any aggression here, uh, but the thing is, it's just simply not, it is not worth it. You know, you need to know when 
it is worth for you to make a hardcore pressure in front and you need to know when it is significantly better to simply hold the line and wait until enemy team will mess up. Right, in this situation, I would say significantly better whenever we are waiting in this tiny bush which we just build ourselves by knocking the tree. Um, I think this is literally the best play which we could uh, do in this situation. Oh, uh -huh. two hits in a row. Is it even real life? Okay, at this point we are going for guard. This is the moment when we need to realize we can make pressure in front. Guard is going to be dead meat, after that we are going to go for Emil. This is exactly what we need, good, good, good. Emil is trying to escape and Trash 103 is trying to escape. This is the moment to make pressure, this is the moment not to uh, slow down and just to go brrrr in front. 3, 2, 1, boom, beautiful. And now we are going to go for Trash 103 in this situation. Good. It does not really matter, he is going to penetrate me, I just do not care. I am just going in like this, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Excellent, very nice play. Uh, skill, you are so brave whenever you are playing against the lower tiers. Uh, I know, fellas, I know. Who could have expected that, huh? Who could have expected that? Um, jokes aside, I am extremely lucky with the current matchmaking. Whenever we are playing once again so against the lower tiers, this tank might feel a bit better than it actually is. And I do not really want to show how powerful this tank is because it's not. This is the thing, you know? I am just simply lucky. That's it, speaking about matchmaking. But the gun uh, showed some question marks, so I believe that was uh, that was fair enough and that was understandable as well. That gun can be discussed. That gun can be disgusting. Okay, let's go and make a bit of pressure for Leo. Here you go, fellas. Here you go. Yeah, I think I think those last shots just showed everything what you can. Uh, expect and what you are going to get of this vehicle. 3 to 1. And finishing everything with a beautiful Amorak. Yeah, quite a session with this vehicle, to say that the least. 2.8 thousand damage, 800 assisting damage. I mean, looking into both uh, games which we played live, uh, it was okay speaking about the result. I do not really have too high of the expectation values for this vehicle, to say that the least. Uh, and in the same time, the first game which we have seen, right, as an intro and everything, it was looking pretty gorgeous as well. But that is one of a kind game, you know, it's not going, it's not like you are going to have this game all the time. Looking into all of this, uh, 2.8 thousand damage, 800 assisting damage, I'm pretty happy with this performance with all honesty and we made 100 28,000 credits, although we, if we are not counting the credits for um, mission, it would be like 78,000, right? So yeah, that's what I have for you today with the Kirovets, fellas. Uh, quite a tank to say that the least. Um, our live games have 2.8 thousand damage and 800 assisting damage. So yeah. That's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, remember to uh, smash one of those. Uh, it is a blessing for a YouTube algorithm. And thank you very much overall for watching. If you have Kirovets, maybe you will go for a run and you will say, yep, skill is right. The gun handling of this vehicle is disgusting. Who knows? Anyways, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Skill is out. Peace.